um, Desmond Hart, the character I play, he's oh, I like him. He's a mysterious guy. Is um, I always think that he's representing the the working class, and he comes into this world um, of materialistic world that he doesn't believe in, and, and um, thinks that they're going in the wrong direction. And and I love that he's got um hidden agendas, and uh, the whole show in general, not just my character. I feel like is uh one big riddle, and you're trying to work out who's good and bad. And, it was very thought provoking. That's what drew me to the character in the show. Um, obviously, I was aware of the the world of June. The movies did amazingly and, uh, and got a great fan base. And then the books. But um, I'm not a. I, I, I wasn't a, a big June guy. But now I've certainly learned a lot while uh, uh, during the process of making. No, nah, I'm one of the slowest readers. I don't have. It take me a year to read a novel, let alone twenty something. Oh. I have no idea. I I, I just know we're ten thousand years before. I it's a. It's uh, Benny Gesserit in its infancy, and um, and I, I think the it's a different planet, you know. Obviously, the Junes, the movies have got their they're on they're on the planet that they're on, and, and we're a whole different look, whole different planet, and ten thousand years before. And um, um, yeah, I just I enjoy the uh, the escapism of it. If you're a fan of the show, or if you're not a fan of the the movie, or if you're not a fan of the movies, um, it's got it, this it's very character driven and. And uh, thought provoking, and, and you, yeah, you don't need to watch the movies to enjoy the no, show. I think my character doesn't like the Benny Jesser at all. He doesn't believe in their their uh, plight, and um, he believes they're very dishonest. And he's got a real bone to pick with them, and he'll um, he'll do whatever he can, and, and he feels justified on on uh, destroying them and destroying anybody that um, that takes their side. Well, for a start, it's just a privilege to be part of the franchise, and hopefully, we complement them well, and and. Um, the biggest challenges is obviously there's a, a unique look to it and, a, and an epic, epicness to it. And I think the team has put together such a wonderful thing in prophecy, and and it blows your mind the images and the sets and that stuff. And um, especially with the restraint of time that you have shooting a TV show, and and obviously you don't have the huge budgets that movies have. But I think um, uh, the whole team for June Prophecy did a tremendous job making it come to life and uh, I'm excited for the fans and for the non-fans to, to see this new world and escape in a, a, a new world that they haven't seen yet. Yeah, working in a June universe, um, obviously there's a lot of fans and it, 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 it is intimidating a bit but um, we're 10,000 years before and we're on different planets than what the, the movies were shot at and um, I just think if you're a fan of sci-fi, if you're a fan of June, or if you're a fan of epicness and entertainment, I think you, you really enjoy it. You know. The world of June is, is so complex, you know, every character is very complex, they've, they've all got hidden agendas and um, like I said, the, uh, Benny Jesser it is at, at its infancy, infancy and it affects what happens in the future and um, look forward to the audience to, to go on that journey with them and, um, and see a bit of history of, history of the movies at the same time. <laughs>